you know, sometimes this country feels like it's a tinder pot ready to blow. There's lots of problems. You look at the city, uh, London, for example, uh, the big crowds of people making their voice heard about various things, different demographics all clashing, and there seems to be no end in sight. The politicians are worried. The politicians are scared that they're going to need protection. They don't feel safe anymore. And what they don't realise, because they're so out of touch, is that a series of decisions over a great many number of years has led us to the point where everything's coalescing, everything's clashing. If you agree with that, subscribe to the channel. Well, one of the biggest issues we have is the population of this country is getting out of control. We have big sectors of society throughout this country who are slowly becoming dominated by a certain demographic. That certain demographic is coming into this country in different ways. One of the uh, primary primary ways is across the channel in Dover, ably assisted, as we've you know looked at many, many times before. Now, the problem is there should be uh, routes to you know, come to this country, legal routes like there is anywhere else. For example, if I wanted to go and live in Spain, uh, you know, legal routes. And if I jumped on a craft of some description, threw my passport in the water and then went over to Spain, I would expect to be turned around and sent straight back again. So why is that not happening here? Well, they come here, they're processed and they're put into accommodation, no matter where it happens to be, hotels, uh, bed and breakfast, you name it, the sky's the limit. We, we know this has been going on. Now, how much does it cost? How much does it cost every day to put these people in the accommodation they're in? Millions, absolutely millions. And the research I've done, that price keeps going up and up and up and up. And what's the current levels? Well, I was sent this earlier. Uh, government spending £15 million a day putting asylum seekers in hotels. The government is spend, paying £15 million a day. And it's effectively £4.3 over budget. You'd see that there. £4.3 billion over budget. And the rate is increasing. So does that mean it's going to be even more over budget? And I've just had a, a conversation with a veteran who has got issues, who would need help from the government. Yet where's the priority with our veteran or, or people that are coming in? There's homeless on the streets who need homes, cost money. Where's the priority them or people coming in? There's disabled and infirm who need assistance. Where's the priority? Them or people coming in? It's all wrong. And then you look at the MPs and you have to wonder, do they really not realise why we're in the trouble we're in? Hmm? You let me know what you think in the comments below. If you want to see another one of my videos, here's one here. As I said, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Toodle.